morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning on the 9th of January, and uh, it's been a pretty intense day. Uh, what's happened uh, on a national or international scale is that uh, what most people would call an alien attack, which uh, pretty much happens every day in my life, but this one was uh, much more elevated um, because people really figured out that the 819 uh, highest ranking Illuminati's had been arrested, uh, including Dick Cheney, George and Barbara Bush, uh, child trafficker Jorge Bagoglio, who most people call Pope Francis. And, um, and so seven ships had come in last night from a star system called Beta Kansari. And uh, this is from the, they are from the 14th planet. It's one of the last uh, areas where dark entities are in our galaxy. Because we're doing uh, Mother and Father God and the entire company of heaven and the Galactics and the Blue Avians and a bunch of other uh, benevolent uh, beings have been doing a sweep of the galaxy. And they started in our solar system quite a while ago. And they started with the sun and they started working their way out. Of course, everybody in Venus, you know, it's the planet of love. Everybody in Venus, uh, they're already galactic, so they didn't need to do anything there. Although the surface of Venus is going to be transformed by the solar Elohim very soon. Um, and rather than focus on that, because uh, so many, I mean, Father God has been destroying the temporals and artificial, artificial drones by the thousands and thousands. And it's just, you know, I've been waking up every couple of hours and, the attacks and the energy flows through me. And a lot of people say that they want to get involved, but they don't know how. And what I suggest you do is say, I refresh and renew my cord of light, connecting me directly into the heart of Mother and Father God. And that way you can skip all the false information, uh, develop an intent to know only the truth. But once you have a connection directly, because religious people have been telling us for years, Oh, you can't have a, a direct connection from God. You have to go through the Vatican. So in other words, uh, the Vatican says, well, you can't have a relationship with God because you need to go to this man who's raping and murdering children, and he's going to be the one to give you, you know, God's word. Yeah, thanks, I'll pass. So, but uh, 12 members of the Vatican have been arrested. And I would like to do an update for Indiana um, I have a lot of very strong feelings about the state of Indiana because so many people in this state are extremely arrogant and they know everything and um, the problem is most of these people run around preaching morality to others are raping and murdering children. Indiana is a major child trafficking state and as of this morning, uh, the man acting as our governor, Mike Pence, has now raped 118 children and murdered 18 of them in Luciferian human sacrifices. Uh, the former uh, man acting as our governor, Mitch Daniels, has raped 72 children and uh, murdered 16. Uh, and Ron Alting, sorry, I'm going to have to put this on pause just for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Another little attack. It's okay, I'm used to it. Um, okay, let's go through Indiana Senators, State Senators first. Ron Alting of District uh, 22, he's raped a total of 33 children, um, including 14 boys, a uh, seven-year-old Scott from Colorado, and uh, 19 girls aged 4 to 17. Eric Bassler, you see what happened was I had, I had prepared this list earlier, but you know, since Indiana men constantly rape and murder children, it has to be updated. So I need to go through and get the, uh, you know, because I like to list girls and boys. Eric Bassler of District 39 has raped 74 children and has raped 12 boys, age 4 to 7, I'm sorry, age 4 to 17, including Scott, and has raped 63 girls, uh, age 3 to 18. Can you imagine raping a three-year-old girl? These people are monsters. It was 63 girls. No, 64. I'm sorry. 
I can do another update later because this is like a really heavy attack day because they obviously don't want this to go out. This horrible monster named Vanetta Becker is one of the most vile women in the planet. And she's from District 50. And she likes to watch men rape little girls. And she has witnessed 512 children being raped and witnessed 18 uh, children being murdered during rape. One of these women, I'm sure she likes to stand around rubbing her vagina the whole time. Okay, if Roderick Bray, District 37, has raped now 118 children and um, little boys aged 3 to 12 and uh, little girls aged 4 to 16, 37 boys and 81 girls. And by the way, I'd like to point out somebody who's a wonderful person, Liz Brown. Liz Brown is from District 15, a state senator, and I absolutely love her. I've met her three times in person at, when I worked for the uh, Allen County Fraternal Order of Police for 17 years. And I used to get her mixed up with uh, Karen Richards, who is another amazing, wonderful person who I love dearly. She's an Allen County prosecutor, Allen County Attorney General, or they just call it County Prosecutor here in Indiana. And uh, Liz Brown has 76% sacred light. I was shocked. I'm like, oh my God. You know? Because usually when people go into politics, they get corrupted by the dark side and fall to 37%. Okay, let's go on. Michael Kreider, District 28. Uh, he's raped a total of 14 children, all girls aged 5 to 13. Mike Delf of District 29 has raped 34 children. One boy, the little boy named Scott from Colorado, and the reason I say that is because a seven-year-old boy was abducted in Aurora, Colorado, 17 miles outside of Aurora, Colorado. He was from Aurora, and then they brought him here, and it was uh, 42 men of Indiana gang raped this little boy 108 times, a little seven-year-old boy, and then he had to be cocooned in heaven because he was so traumatized. Uh, Doug Eder Eckerty, Eckerty of District 26, has raped 16 children, all girls. Susan Glick, now she hasn't raped children, but Susan Glick from the District 13, uh, she's a dark entity with 37% sacred light, and the reason is, is because she has 32 men in her life, 32 men in her immediate uh, proximity that all are raping children, and she supports them, she basically worships them like gods. So typical in Indiana. Ron Grooms, District 46, has raped 37 children, 12 boys, aged 4 to 12, and uh, 25 girls, aged 4 to 16. Randy Head, District 18, has raped 76 children, uh, and he was there. He witnessed Pence, uh, Mike Pence murder Scott during rape. Brant Hirschman, District 7, he's raped 18 children. And he also witnessed uh, Pence murder Scott. He was he also raped Scott. And uh, six two boy he's raped two boys and sixteen girls. Okay, Jim Merritt from District Thirty One. He's raped a total of thirty seven children, eleven boys, including Scott, and twenty six girls aged five to seventeen years old. Pete Miller from District Twenty Four has raped 64 children, 11 boys aged 4 to 12 years old, including Scott, and uh, 53 girls aged 4 to 17. And he was also there. He also witnessed uh, Pence murder Scott. Ryan Mishler from District Number 9. He's raped 42 children, 13 boys, uh, including Scott, aged 4 to 16, 29 girls. And uh, he raped Cassidy as well. Cassidy was another little girl that I did a report on uh, who was eventually murdered. She was raped a whole bunch of times, and then she was eventually murdered by the Indiana State Police. Uh, the Indiana State Police has 14 officers that rape children now. It was seven. Now they've recruited seven more, and seven of those officers have all murdered children. Jeff Ratz from District 27, he's raped nine children, all girls, and he's well known because he's an Arathion war criminal and he's assisted murders in 14 countries. Raytheon uh, is a big, uh, filthy, low-life murdering war criminal company and they have offices in Fort Wayne. Brent Waltz is another one. He's just a vile, horrible monster. He has raped 
121 children, one to one. 36 boys and 85 girls. And all of them are basically, well, the boys were 4 to 12, the girls were 4 to 17. And uh, for some reason, the Democrats, who are state senators, are all, we have another woman uh, named Jean D. Bro from uh, District Number 34. She has 71% sacred light. When I saw her picture, I thought, my God, she looks like an angel. I'm like, how the hell did she get in there with this cesspool <laughs> of, of uh, criminals? But see, they're mostly, all the Democrats here, most of them are dark entities. Jim Arnold, dark entity. John Broden is a dark entity. Um, Frank Mervan is a dark entity. And uh, we have a couple other good ones. Uh, Mark Stoops, dark entity. How typical. And let's go on. At Congress, uh, Indiana, uh, Dan Coates, a senator. Indiana, he's raped 17 children and murdered two of them. Joe Donnelly, another one. He's raped 12 children and murdered one of them. Uh, and the state level uh, Congress, uh, the United States Representative, the House of Representatives, we have um, Marlon Stutzman. Marlon Stutzman. Uh, he has raped 13 children, five boys and seven girls. If Marlon Stutzman is now running for Indiana Senator. And uh, Pam, there's a woman who just moved here from Wisconsin named Pam. Pam, I think her name is Galloway. And she has 58% sacred light. But she had put out, well, you know, child rapist Marlon Stutzman is going to run for Senator. So she is going to run for uh the Congress of District 3 from Indiana. Larry Bouchon, uh, he's from District 8. He's raped three children, all little girls, aged four to seven years old. Four to seven years old, and I've been saying for years, if, if a man can strap down a little four-year-old girl to table and rape her, they, he can do anything. These people can do anything. They have no conscience whatsoever, none whatsoever. And another one is named Todd Young from District 9. And he's raped 36 children and murdered three of them uh, while raping them, which is so typical in Indiana. It's all these people just love to rape and murder little girls and boys. And um, I don't have time to go on to do the uh, House of Representatives. I haven't got through their list. There's like a hundred of them from our state. Great. That's all we need. More men who rape and murder children. Thank you. And if you'd really like to help the child trafficking situation, connect to God. Um, my favorite way is the court of light. And then just keep saying, thank you. Thank you, universe, for ending child trafficking. Thank you, thank you, thank you for ending child trafficking. And that uh, projects uh, the intent much, much faster. Thank you. Have a nice weekend.